Whether you've used your last cotton round and don't have time to run to the shops, or you just want to make the switch to a more sustainable bathroom routine, you've come to the right place. This week, we've got two super easy and useful DIYs. We'll be making reusable cotton rounds for removing makeup and a shower scrubby. Let's talk about what you'll need. Grab an old t-shirt, some extra cotton fabric, or an old towel to make both of these projects. You're going to want to use a soft cotton thread for this project because you'll be using it on the skin of your face and body. We recommend our 50 weight Egyptian cotton thread called confetti. Confetti is soft to the touch, so it won't feel scratchy when you're in the shower or taking off your makeup. It's also durable, so it'll last through the washing machine, lots of scrubbing, and suds. If you want a little pop of color, you can also use Tootie. We love it for all of the reasons that we love confetti, but Tootie offers something really special with its vibrant variegated colors. So let's get to making the cotton rounds first. If you're using a fairly light fabric like an old t-shirt, fold the fabric so that you can cut two pieces out at a time. Using a cup, jar, or other circular template, trace a few circles out. Cut them out and place a pin in the middle so they stay lined up. If you have a serger, go ahead and set it up and simply serge around the outside of the circle to prevent the fabric from fraying. Serge around the outside of all of your circles until you've reached your desired amount of reusable cotton rounds, and ta-da, you're finished! However, if you don't have a serger, you can place a row of zigzag stitching around the edge so that the needle just barely catches the edge of the fabric to prevent fraying. The shorter your stitch length, the more coverage the edge of your cotton round will have. And there you have it. Your reusable cotton rounds are ready to remove that makeup time and time again. Once your makeup round is used, you can just toss them into your washing machine to get it clean so you can use them again and again. Now let's make the shower scrubby. Again, if you're using a lighter material, cut the fabric right sides together. Depending on how large you'd like your shower scrubby, you can adjust the size to your liking. We're going to cut our fabric at 14 inches by 4 inches. We wouldn't recommend cutting your fabric any smaller than this. You should have two rectangles if you're using a heavy fabric, and four if you're using a lighter fabric. If you're using a lighter fabric, zigzag stitch or serge around the edge of the rectangles on all sides. Next, you'll need to create the drawstring. Cut a long strip of fabric that's twice the length of your rectangles. Iron the fabric strip so that the outermost edges meet in the middle. Fold in half once more and press again. Place a line of stitching down the long side. and then two shorter ones on the short ends. Place the drawstring in the center of your rectangles and place a straight line of stitching down either side of the string. Be careful not to catch the drawstring while you're stitching, otherwise you won't be able to scrunch the scrubby. Tie the drawstring together, or stitch it at the ends. Scrunch your rectangles together as much as you can, and tie the drawstring together so that your new shower scrubby stays nice and scrunched up to get the most out of your shower sets.
And there you have it. The five minute project for when you're in a bind or wanting to make the switch to a more earth friendly bathroom routine. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to see more content like this. You can also sign up for our weekly educational sewing and quilting newsletter to get the first look at free projects, sewing tips that will make you jump for joy, and inspiring tutorials delivered right to your inbox. And if you're all about garment making, you can also subscribe to our wonderful wearables newsletter for exclusive first access to patterns and projects with tips to make the best of your garment sewing. Inspired to sew with wonderful threads? Check out the description box for a list of stores and retailers you can purchase wonderful threads from in your country. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again next time.